streaming now. This is the Wood TV Live Desk. Good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're all having a terrific Tuesday. And we have a very special guest joining us on the Live Desk this morning. Joining me today, a man who needs no introduction, but I will try my best to give him one. Uh, you e you've either seen him on one of his many TV shows, his hit Food Network shows like Restaurant Impossible, or you've likely seen him in your grocery store with his line of products like Fit Crunch Protein Bars, or you just know him through his charitable endeavors. It is celebrity chef Robert Irvine. Robert, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me, Bill. Yeah, no, absolutely. And Robert, uh, we're already getting a bunch of comments and very excited to see you on the live desk this morning. But before we get started about why you're talking to me of all people today, uh, you have an upcoming event this weekend in Grand Rapids to promote your new line of gin and vodka called Irvine Spirits. And there's actually a chance for everybody watching to possibly get the chance to meet you and also grab your, themselves a bottle of Irvine Spirits. But in just a few moments, we'll talk a little bit more about that. I want to start by talking a little bit about your career as a chef, TV show host, philanthropist. You seem to have your hand in just about everything. How do you manage specifically to handle all of these different endeavors every single day? With very little sleep and a <laughs> lot of great, you know, when you when you have, you know, we have food line, we have liquor, we have protein bars, we have clothing, we have technology. Um, I'm the brains, but I have a lot of people who do an awful lot of work, uh, so I cannot take credit. Um, having a great team helps. Um, I'm on the road 345 days a year traveling. I just got back from Phoenix, our team meeting in Phoenix, um, to see where, we, where we're heading in 2023. And everything is, is driven in our business around our foundation, Robert Irvine Foundation. It gives back to our first responders and men and women that wear the cloth of our nation. And kind of staying on that same topic regarding you just being a very busy guy, Restaurant Impossible, a show that has really withstood the test of time over the years now in its 22nd season. Uh, why do you think that show has become so popular? Obviously, you're very charismatic. Everybody likes seeing these restaurants being brought back up. But uh, why do you think specifically has made it so popular and why, what has kept viewers uh, from continuing to watch? I don't think it's anything to do with me being charismatic. What I believe it is, is people learning um, about business, about decor, about food, about pitfalls, about leadership, about trust, um, all the things that make any kind of business successful. And, and it's interesting because we're in 170 countries with a billion viewers um, and it's in its 13th year. And uh, I don't know, I think it's each one is, is each family is individual. Um, I think they're unique and they all bring different problems to the table. And, and it's up to us to take 48 hours and fix those problems to make them successful. And I can tell you in three years uh, that we're back, you know, we had a three year hiatus after 10 years, whatever it was, uh, we're 96% successful in the restaurants and families that we've touched in the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And of course, big congrats to you on being uh, around for those 13 years doing the show. Uh, but now let's switch over to the reason why you're talking to me today, the Grand Rapids uh, event that is being held this weekend. This Saturday from 12 to 2, you will be at Grand Rapids Total Wine and More to promote Irvine Spirits. Uh, what made you decide to get into the spirit sort of lane? I feel like a lot of celebrities these days are kind of following in that same line, trying to you know diversify their uh, own brand very different and I'm going to explain why it's different. Well, first of all, I bought the distillery five years ago. It's not new. Um, Boardroom Spirits has been around for a long time. Uh, I decided to take uh, Irvine's National because the Boardroom Spirit line has fresh fruit in it. So when you have fresh fruit, in, if I give you an example of a vodka and cranberry, there are eight pounds of fresh cranberries in each bottle. Well, you can't do that in a national brand because it sits on a shelf. So we had to reintroduce infusion of those eight pound of cranberries so the liquid is clear. So we have a boardroom line that's in the tri-state area and the Irvine's gin and vodka, which is national now. Um, so I've been in that for a long time. I own the distillery. I don't put my name like I will name a thousand other celebrities that have just put the name and get a cut of it. I actually own it. It went from um, 3,000 square foot to almost 40,000 square foot in the last couple of years. Uh, it's something I'm passionate about. The gin, I actually traveled the globe 
to pick up the ingredients. There are 13 botanicals in that gin that I actually cook with. I went to Sri Lanka to pick up the cinnamon, real cinnamon, not the cinnamon used in the United States of America. So it's very near and dear to my heart. It is chef curated, number one, which means it's, it's ready for food. It's been paired with food, just like wine does. And nobody's ever done that before. Um, and I think it works really well. So the, the difference is being A, I own the distillery, B, I develop the recipes, and C, um, it's all made with food. Yeah, definitely. And you said that it is now across the nation and you're coming to Michigan specifically to promote it. Can you maybe talk a little bit about the importance of, to you at least, of coming to Michigan and why you decided to choose Michigan as one of your landing spots to promote this? Well, my fan base for Restaurant Impossible is huge in Michigan. I've um, done a lot of shows there. I've also got a lot of friends there that have been, and, and I mean this, that have bought some friends after that. Um, you know, social media and uh, visits and things like that. So for me, uh, I, I start, excuse me, going to the places I feel we have the most pull in um, to get it out. We're not in, uh, in bars and clubs yet. Um, we're starting with retail and it's done well because the product, whether I cut it on any other vodka or gin, we always come out top. So, uh, you know, the flavor is great, the price point's great. That's bad at all. It all goes to charity. We raised already my foundation, Rob River, my foundation of those uh, in need. Right, and kind of sticking with uh, you coming back to Grand Rapids, you have visited it before on Restaurant Impossible, uh, even going to Sh uh, Shea Olga. Uh, what, what, do you have any fond memories of Grand Rapids being there on the show or maybe just visiting or any places in the area that uh, really stuck out to you? I'm sure lots of people would love to know what, where Robert Irvine likes to go in Grand Rapids. They're funny, you know, I don't really get that much time when I'm doing shows because it is a straight 48 hours. I may have popped into a restaurant by fitness uh, during my time, but I really don't spend that much time um, visiting specific establishments. It's really there to fix, and you just said Chef Bolga, it's really there to fix the folks. And it takes an awful lot of my time. I'm only there 48 hours. The crew gets there the day before to set up tents. I actually fly in and I get in that morning or late that night and I start straight and we go all the way through. So this, I love, and this is a true thing, I love the people in Michigan because they're so giving. Uh, and when I asked for volunteers, we had hundreds of volunteers. So. Right, absolutely. And Robert, kind of just touching on the last little bit of this, I really wanted to talk to you about the Robert Irvine Foundation, something you're very proud of. Uh, and of course, a portion of the proceeds from Irvine Spirits do go to that foundation to help veterans, first responders, active service men and women. Uh, you obviously care a great deal about those causes and the organization itself. Why was it important for you to include it with Irvine Spirits? Well, I think everything we do is not just spirits. It's everything that I touch has a percentage of, of its revenue goes to the uh, foundation simply because I feel that America has forgotten that we have food insecurity. One in four uh, men and women in our military, our active duty military, are food insecure, let alone what in the civilian side. Um, I feel we forgot about the health and care of 18 years of war. Um, and general feeding, you know, one of the things that, that we, we do in the foundation is provide um, the iBot program, which is a mobility device that lifts people from ground level to standing up, can go up and down stairs, rough terrain, uh, giving back independence and freedom. We supply uh, um, service dogs. We have a program called Breaking Bread for Heroes, where every week, two or three times a week, we're in a different base. Yesterday, I was in Phoenix feeding 100 uh, um, homeless veteran with my team. So I think it's really important that the nation does not forget that, that we've had a military that's been at war, this war, Afghanistan, Iraq, for 18 years, and we're still seeing, just like Vietnam, World War I, um, and Korea, we're still seeing the issues of that. And I feel that, you know, we, we've got to do more. There are lots of foundations out there. We've got to do more to make sure we care of these. When we say a soldier for life, that means we've got to take care of them for life. They put on that uniform and I am very, very adamant that uh, I will fight the Senate and the Combat Cares Act and everybody else 
uh, because we promised to do something and we're not doing it. So the foundation is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, everything we do uh, in life touches that foundation. So yeah, uh, robertirvinefoundation.org. In fact, we just put up there our year-end uh, video, our impact video, so people can go and watch that. that you'll get a sense of who we are. All right, fantastic stuff, Robert. All right, I want to thank you once again. It's been an incredible honor having you on the Wood TV Live Desk this morning. And I want to remind everybody that Robert will be here in Grand Rapids this Saturday from 12 to 2 p.m. at T Grand Rapids Total Wine and More. There you can actually have the chance to meet Robert and also get one of the bottles of Irvine Spirit signed by him. Uh, there's tons of information. More information, of course, can be found over on our website, woodtv.com. If you're watching us on Facebook, just click that link in the description box or comment section. It'll take you directly there, and you can find everything you know. Robert, once again, incredible honor. Thank you so much for being here today. Appreciate you, Bill. Look forward to seeing you all there. Yes, no, absolutely. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning in to this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great